Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. Cove Apprentice. See, like it. Here's the thing that gets me, okay? It pre selected the correct mission. Sometimes it doesn't pre select the correct mission, and then you accidentally go to the wrong mission, but sometimes the game is perfectly capable of selecting the correct mission. This time it selected the wrong mission, but it selected the right mission that I wanted. How does the game determine what mission to pre select? Is it like this is where I started dragging the people, and so it's automatically doing this one because I dragged the people here or something? I don't know. I don't know the rules behind it. Let's provision. We need a lot of food. We need some shovels. We need some torches. And we're out of money already. Well, if we're out of money, we could reduce our food a little bit, get at least one medicinal herbs, maybe get rid of a shovel for another medicinal herbs, and then torches. Uh, I want the herbs because I really, really, really want to remove quirks if we get the opportunity to remove quirks. There's also a possibility of getting bodies, and if we get a body, a uh, a fish, we can just get some food that way. With pelagic nightmares, they must be flushed out. Flushed out? What do you think? This is a giant toilet. But this should be okay. Ah, damn it! <laughs> you piece of garbage game. Well, we'll think about it. We'll come back for it. You got to give me a shambler altar at the beginning. No, you got to do it at the end. Okay. We've done a lot of shamblers, but uh, it's probably still worth it to keep doing them. Your speed is six, four, four. They're probably gonna go first. We could do a manacles to stun one of them for four to seven. Honestly, I'd rather do the damage. <coughs> oh God. Oh, something with my throat today. Instead, we'll yop with the Hellion. Let that poison tick a little bit more. We should be able to get the kill on at least that guy with the Musketeer, the second position enemy. Nine to 16. Yeah, that should get him. It'll take one turn, but he is dead. So we'll f uh, focus on that fish man. Fish man. The one at the front is the only one that we don't have to deal with. <clears throat> I got no idea what's up with my, like, voice recently. I apologize. It's disgusting, I know. Uh, this may not kill you. Still really our best option. You have to take one more point of damage. I think we might have, like, an AoE. Well, now it's a front AoE. Um, no, we don't have smokescreen on the Musketeer here. I was gonna say that would be a good ability to use, but... This is also fine. Decimated. Good crit. Thank you, Finch. So you gotta get hit for one. We can do that with Buckshot. We'll have the Vessel do a heal. Just to keep everyone topped up a little bit. Yoink. And it's a good crit, too. Jax Wild, hello, welcome. How you doing? Thank you for the cheer. Hi. What's up, my dude? I hope you've been having a good time and a good life. As the fiend falls, you still up in Alaska? Blossoms. I think you're still up in Alaska. How was how was the weather up there? Are the runs pretty good? Um, there is a shambler altar right here in between the hallway, so I am very tempted to go do that at some point <laughs> and probably get everyone killed. But to be fair, it's early. You know, the sh Oh, wow. The Shambler shouldn't be too difficult. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. This is a horrible shuffle. What's your movement? I really wish you could see movement on this screen. Um, I think her movement is forward one. You know, I'm tempted to... Tempted to transform. We could then do a slam, which moves us forward. You have to move back. You do move back three, I think. 
All right, I'm gonna transform. It's unfortunate, but we uh, have very much gotten ourselves in a weird position here. I do like that. Oh no, it's still blanket fire range. I, f I forgot that the uh, Fusiliers are not Arbalists. Arbalists bayonet jab from the second position, not these guys. So you're just gonna move up. You're gonna move back two. And we're at least in a party composition that's functional right now. What do you do from the back? You probably just uppercut slice, huh? Or shank, or slice. You probably do everything from the back. Maybe I'll s stun you. It snowed like a foot on Thursday. Here, Thursday was almost 70 degrees. It was like summertime weather, which is only a little bit saddening. <laughs> uh, Destroyed. It was a little unfortunate. Stun resist, yeah, go for the stun. Weakened. Last Campy Hello Welcome. Would you recommend this game? You know, uh, well, I don't know. I mean, I've only had like three playthroughs of it, so, you know, I'm on the fence. You know, I, 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 you can take it to leave it. <laughs> let's go for, uh, let's go for you. Jax Wild recommends buying it twice. He he's, must be a big fan. We don't need a stun. We need to kill. Continually onslaught. Destroy, Destroy them, them all. So the stress is increasing, but the problem is I can't. A uh, good kill. I can't really untransform because the abominations in the front, they can't do anything in the front. So we kind of just need to keep them where they are. We're almost done though. Just need to somehow get one more hit in. We got him. Ladies and gentlemen. We got him. Give them no quarter. Debuff, stress relief, still bleeding a little bit, but the bleeding doesn't bleeding doesn't really matter, does it? I could use the bandage, just why not? All right, very annoying surprise, but that's okay. Really, we just want that camping, or not camping, sorry. We want that scouting, but we haven't gotten it yet. I did bring the book, right? The dodging is pretty good. I'm pretty sure I brought the book. Who has the book? You have the book? You have the book. It's not a book, it's a map. Whatever, it's like paper, same thing. Let's do a, um... <sighs> Let's do a third position stun. The Hellion will stun the front, the Abomination will poison him, and the Musketeer will shoot him. That seems like a good distribution of labor. You know what? Oh, 93%. I don't know if that's a a 93% literal or if that's a 98% because technically speaking, 95% is actually 100%. So I don't know how they fudge the numbers when it says 93, but still, come on. <laughs> and now he's protected so I can't shoot him. Beautiful. Definitely not Brazilian says, I've never even seen snow. Someone should, you know, pack up some snow in a box and mail it. That way you can have some snow. Six, six. Call the shot, mark, buckshot hits two. Aim shot would get a kill. You're stunned, you're not stunned. You both moved. What's the damage of this, four to seven? Five would kill. All right, good. I honestly forgot that that even pushed back, so. Resisted the stun again. Oh, well, you were already stunned. What am I talking about? What am I do- What am I doing? Confidence good. Surges as the enemy crumbles. MSV Cole says you're missing nothing. Snow sucks. Well, I guess it depends on how much snow you get. That's the thing, isn't it? All right, everyone's dead except for the guy with the Seistus. 
He also was recently stunned, so we'll toss out a heal first. Bum, bum, bum. Twig Breaker says, hey Abe, hi hi, no late STB stream, so late night for Abe, question mark. Uh, heart, heart. STB stream? Is that another streamer? Are you cheating on me, Twig Breaker? How dare you? How could you do this to me? The slow death I'm a fool. Seen. I can't hit him with the mark now. <laughs> oh well, we can crit for eight. Oh, the other guys. Eh, screw those guys. I'm the only stream you need, Twig Breaker. Uh, let's go for a stun. We just have to keep punching through his protection, although the protection has lowered. Even Buckshot doing four is okay. Okay, now I could snipe you if I wanted. Beautiful. A momentary abatement. A momentary abatement. Now please don't give me uh, stalling penalties because I'm not really stalling. This is a stall. <laughs> A very slight stall. But I'll take it. We even got a little bit of stress heal out of it. And you? Crit. Oh. Is broken. Maintain the offensive. I'll take it. Two holy waters, two portraits. We have blood. We don't really need the blood anymore. We could get rid of it. Because we get two per week. It might still be nice to stockpile it quickly so we can do the Crimson Court missions. Quickly-ish, which could be nice. Um, so maybe we'll get rid of the debuff charm. We already have charms that improve our debuff resistances and debuff skills. The debuff stones or whatever they are. So we don't need this, really. Fish idol. Holy water is beneficial. Let's give that to the... Let's give it to the Hellion. Just a little bit more damage. Not that much damage, but a little bit. Complete room battles. Is this a long mission? I believe it is. Yes. I'm gonna leave this chest and we'll come back for it. Hello, welcome Rainbow Zombie Man. I'm playing Overwatch with the boys. Just wanted to stop by and say hi. Well, hello. I don't know much about Overwatch. <laughs> I haven't really played it. Are we just gonna toss out another stun? Oh no, the Hellion already went, so we can't. Fair enough. How much of a bleed? Six? That's a Vestal. We don't need any, well, we don't have any bandages, so let's not worry about it. But that's a Vestal heal. That's a Vestal heal if I've ever seen one. So you gotta get hit for four. Fair enough. And then I think now we can just smack the crap out of this sea maggot. I don't even know if we should worry about stunning him or anything. Maybe we should have because I don't think we're gonna kill with the musketeer, but you never know. Well, we crit the corpse. <laughs> And it did give us stress relief, which is interesting. I didn't think critting corpses would count, but I guess it would count if it's a part of an AoE attack, which is interesting. Like, maybe that's the game's way of saying, well, you can't really stall out and hit corpses for stress relief, but if you're hitting the normal enemy, I, maybe you can. Stress is perfectly fine right now. We're gonna start leaving boxes behind so we can do the battles and then camp. We should probably camp early, honestly, because we have two logs, but I feel like there hasn't been much of a need to camp because we're actually doing fine for the time being. But maybe I'll just maybe I'll just camp in the next room just for inventory purposes. Maybe I'll try to do like one more combat first, though. Did get scouting. What kind of buffs do we have? I don't have Sharpened Spear, which is annoying. We do have Bless, 
We do have clean musket. We could also uh, marching plan. So we do have buffs that we can apply. Uh, let's let's do one more combat though. Let's do one more combat. Weirdly enough, this is kind of perfect. I kind of wanted to take a little bit of stress damage for the f the uh, camp to relieve. Let's try an iron iron swan. Iron Swan plus a shot will do it. <clears throat> this should just be a repeat of the last fight. GT Quirk says, anyone else have naps sneak up on you like you're fine, then sleepy, and you have to snooze for a bit? I've had that happen sometimes. A decisive Food Breaker feeling. says, that just happened to me and I just woke up a little bit ago. So that's where you went. We'll smack you. We'll heal. A momentary abatement. We'll get another crit from the Musketeer Buckshot. I feel like her crit is a little bit too high, but I'll take it. Did I give her an accuracy ring? I did! The focus ring accuracy. That's what's going on. A trifling victory, but a victory You keep saying that. Um, if this gives us a little bit of stress, I don't really mind. If it gives us a positive quirk, I would like to have a positive quirk. We can get a positive quirk on, on the Vestal, I think. Slugger, plus melee damage. Oh boy. <laughs> Sweet. We got plus melee damage, everyone. That that Vestal is gonna hit hard. We also got lucky scouting too. Um, let's let's camp. We got fights coming up. Let's buff. Free up for some together. inventory space. Clear all of our stress. Rats in a maze. Prevent ambush. Restring crossbow. Um, right. You don't have the crit ability. What am I? What am I thinking? We do have accuracy and dodge. Making it so you don't miss is nice, and then lower stress. We can lower stress on, I don't know, you? The way is lit, the path is clear. We require only the strength of- Of course! Forward. Time to get cursed. <laughs> No chance of stunning, we just gotta hit him. Well, this is annoying. There's a small chance that we can kill him before they act, but like, real small. Seven to 14. Five to nine. This will bleed and this should kill. It didn't bleed, but they still died. And now they crit. Immediately after the camp. <laughs> Freaking jerks. Well, um. Good buckshot. Try to wound these guys. Six damage is actually pretty good. But I don't think we're gonna get a kill with their little bit of protection. They just love puking on Milchuk. <laughs> No, it's Brendan Toad. Milk Jug was on the last mission. I forgot. I had it wrong. I had it wrong. Wreck and Roller, welcome. How's it going? And Frozen Fox. And Help Need Name. What do you get? This is like a surge in people. Hello, everybody. Hope I didn't miss anyone. Like, they've been here for like 10 years, only noticing their names in chat now. It happens sometimes. Yeah, we're just gonna bleed them. Hope for the best. Gather the blood. Don't do it. I hate this game. 
Well, we do have one blood, at least. That's something, I guess. You know what? Now you're dead. Masterfully executed. Hmm. If you give someone the blood when they're on normal, do they go up to, to bloodlust level? Because if they go up to bloodlust level, we could do mod, that on so El Shambi lore. Maybe try to make something happen there. Dude, we got a lot of garbage in our inventory. Look at this. Look at this nonsense. Look at this. Look at this. No loot, lots of garbage. I hate that you're, like, still poisoned, but... You know, it's your own damn fault for getting crit. Spear fishing. This will not move because we are still on Apprentice. Well, I say still on Apprentice. We moved off of Apprentice, did some missions, and then we came back. <laughs> Just to level people up. That's so nice. We finally got a, a one-turn KO on stress dealers. Not one hit, one turn KO, I, I said that correctly. You should just heal yourself. I'm, I'm thinking about a stun, but we have the Vestal for healing. We don't need to, to stun one of these enemies. They're not poison, so we're not getting like an extra tick of damage over time. Seven damage. Unlikely to land. Should say unlikely to kill. Now the stun is useful because it is a kill. Not a guaranteed chance of landing, but guaranteed chance of stunning if it lands. As the light gains purchase, spirits can the staunch the flow. The purpose is made clear. You should stun. I guess you could toss out a buckshot. I, I'm in love with Buckshot's crits. It crits so freaking much. <laughs> it's like every time, I think every time I've used it so far, it's been a crit, which has just been beautiful. Got that Beastmaster yet? If you mean um, the guy with his dog in Darkest Dungeon, we do have a Beastmaster. We have one. <laughs> we have one, but at the same time, I don't I don't really use them that often. I think they're kind of situational for me. You have one HP? I hate you. Never mind, you suck. Why am I worried about you? This is a very, very solid experience here. They're all dead. We're dying. Have essentially no stress. Full health. Beautiful. Dun dun da dun. Now, yourself that overconfidence uh, is five. Is eight torches killer. enough? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'd like. There's. You know what? There's a couple of places we can get torches as we go back. So five torches might be enough. Let's take the crests. No scouting, which is fine. We need to complete 100% of room battles. So let's go and do that, and we'll save this curio for the way back machine. 95% and you failed it? You have no dodge now, you idiot. Let's get your dodge back. You couldn't dodge a stationary trap? Ah, this is where we're gonna get some food later. So we should probably camp before we do uh, our way back. Oh, you know what? We have to complete 100% of room battles. We have to do both of these battles. I thought we only had to do uh, rooms. This mission is gonna be a little bit longer than I thought, but I guess it is long. Remember like a thousand years ago, I wanted to have a Beastmaster named after me, says Wreck and Roller. I, I, I remember that. I just haven't picked up another beast guy. Houndmaster, not Beastmaster. That's why I'm getting confused. I just haven't picked one up yet. 
I have a I have a maximum roster and no one's died that needs replacing, so until that happens. Until that happens. This Hamlet is full, baby. Eight damage. Plus bleed resist. That's not that bad. Three speed, seven speed, excuse me. Oh, well, I guess yes, you are cursed. But we can just have the Hellion yulp. We can have the Musketeer just constantly crit everything. I don't know, I'm kind of tempted to like, get another crit trinket and put it on like Musketeers and Arbalists now, because that ability just seems to want to crit every single shot. It's real freaking good. For you, a heal. No stress relief though. I do see that chest in front of me. You know what? We have scouting in every in every other hallway. We know when we're done with this hallway here, we don't need uh, shovels anymore. So we can dump them when we open up that locked barnacle chest. Barnacle chest. Barnacle chest. Nine. Not good enough. However. This will be good enough. It's gonna be an overkill, but it's worth doing. We didn't need to, but it's worth doing. Minus two speed for one battle. Oh, this is your last battle of crossbow, okay. Man, maybe we shouldn't camp. Yeah, maybe we should save the camp. Because if we use it down here, we can camp before the Shambler and then get the camping bonuses during that fight. Dodge, accuracy, whatnot. That was not the best, but this will finish the job. And you know what, we have an abomination. They're good against those clapper claws. We can just make sure that he has all the trinkets that increase his damage, and then he can just handle the clapper claws. I kind of like that idea. I have to remember to deal with the trinkets before we fight, but if we just let him rake the clapper claws, give him speed and, and damage, I kind of like it. You are dead. You are not dead. You are stunned though, so we do have an opportunity for healing. And I really want stress on him. You can die. Be wary. More blood. Pride precipitates Money. Can't hold it. Fall. But that's fine. There's another torch. So yeah, we really did not need the uh, the additional torches that I had dumped earlier. Gold. A thousand gold I do want. We'll get rid of Onyx. Paid for in blood. I don't really want to get rid of any of this stuff. Even the blood, like I want the blood for when we crave. Bloodlusting during the Shambler fight would be very beneficial. A singular strike. Eradicated. The ground quakes. Eradicated. Why are we critting so much? <laughs> Is it just upgrades or something, or am I just getting lucky? Lucky. I mean, you might as well heal again. I love you having zero stress. We have 12. Success so clearly in view. Oh, is it merely? Oh, Lord. There's been a lot of combat, but then again, we also have only camped once. But we still have a lot of combats left to go, so. Okay, we'll do the stun first. I don't mind it. Lowers our speed, but you know what? Maybe gives us an opportunity to help get some kills and save some damage. Got one of them. I love the 
that the Vestal even has a stun. It's such a useful little support ability if, if you have nothing else to do. Six damage, not quite dead. Hmm, if, if we fight the Shambler, let, let's start thinking about it a little bit more, okay? If we fight the Shambler, we're gonna lose out on this sweet damage over time. We're gonna gain a unit that can hopefully kill the Clapper Claws, but we're probably gonna need the Hellion and the Marksman, which is actually a Musketeer, to really smack the boss around. So it might be worth it to use a Mark on our Musketeer and then just use a Musketeer to keep shooting, which is fair. We could do that. Maybe the uh, the Hellion can toss out stuns on Clapper Claws if we need it, or just like clean up. The Vestal can just keep focusing on on heals, on stuns if necessary. I feel like that could work. The worst though is that if we just get like a bad shuffle. They can be beaten. We have to do this room too. And there's a secret door. I even saw the game pause on its rendering to draw that door. I knew it was gonna be there, but we don't have a key. So we do need to get a key for that. But we can we can open it for like one big jewel, but we're not gonna open it for the three big tro trodecadocahedrons, unfortunately. But I, I knew it was gonna be there. And I'm glad it's there, but no key. No key unpog. <laughs> Yeah, oh well. Dude, this Hellion cannot kill anything. A powerful blow. It's good crit, it's good crit. But this Hellion cannot kill anything. It's like when I need the Hellion to do that Iron Swan, it's always a low roll. Oh, you know what? I just realized. Heaven's Hairpin and Ancestor's Candle are both worthless on the Shambler. So we're gonna lose 10 accuracy, 15 damage, two speed, and five dodge. Not the best. We can still use the padlock, but we're probably gonna transform. Healing skills are important. So really, there's actually no reason to tran- Well, no, we should still accu accuracy crit and damage on to the Abomination, I think, but... Unfortunately, the Hellion is just not gonna have any reason to even have her, uh... Her trinkets. Her trinkets won't- Her trinkets won't do anything. Yeah, because you can't increase the light. Even- I'm pretty sure even Dazzling Light won't increase the light at all on that fight. <sighs> it's gonna really mess with our Hellion's damage output. But I, I believe she could still stun Clapper Claws. I don't really love that idea though because it gives the Shambler a chance to shuffle us. But maybe, maybe, just maybe. See, so yeah, let's start opening these. Hope we find a key. Packs laden with loot. Oh, we're often low on supplies. supplies. We do not need medicinal herbs. Uh, there's three curios remaining. We're probably not gonna get what we need for those. So we'll leave them. And I'm also not lowering the light level. I probably should, you know what? May I would really like shadows, to see about younger, finding a uh, finding a secret room key rather crests or deeds. We'll keep the deeds. Let me uh, do a little bit of this though. Okay. Because I think there's like three sconces on the way back. We can just get the torches from those. I think one is right here too. No key. 
gold, though. Uh, we're gonna get rid of the shovel pretty soon, so we don't need to worry about that. We might find a key and then come back for the secret room, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna worry about that necessarily. We're just gonna open things and progress. Virtue chance, Vestal. No, thank you. Barnacle chest, barnacle chest. A handsome reward for a task well performed. Hate it, but it's all useless. Um, you know, I think I'm just gonna open the secret chest. Yeah, I'm just gonna open it. We don't get the the good loot, but to be honest with you, I don't want to fiddle with it. I, I really don't want to come back. If we fight the Shambler, honestly, that's kind of a one-way trip. There's a combat up ahead. I got rid of the medicinal herbs, because I'm a moron. <laughs> okay, starting to run. Not low on food, but lots of starvation prompts. You get a lot of them when you backtrack, which is kind of funny. Fredaculus says, how long did the Ruins mission go? I might have dozed off, lol. The Ruins mission wasn't too bad. This one is, this one is angling to be a little bit longer, but I think that's just because we're gonna be doing a lot of bonuses. Nine! Every time we go for the Iron Swan, it's trash. I hate it. You know, I could have fought the Shambler right there, I guess, but that would have been probably a dumb idea. I think we'll give accuracy and damage to the Abomination. Because I, I need him to hit and kill the Clapper Claws every turn. It's probably in our best interest. There's actually another strategy I should think of. It might be worth it to try to spawn combat next to the Shambler altar, and then what we can do is buff Rake on the Abomination, and by buffing Rake, we can keep a buff or a stack of it when we get into the fight, but I don't know about that. I don't know if that even works. Rip for the no key. I think I even, I brought keys. I think I just used them though. Oh well. Um, sure. Key? Well, now it doesn't matter because I can't go back and use it because I've already popped it. Uh, I'm gonna save the food though. I'm also saving the holy water for the fight. Yeah, let's open this. It's trapped, doesn't matter. Keep moving back. We'll probably dump this now. The darkness holds much worse than mere trickery. And boogie men! Not the boogie men. The boogie boogie. Boogie boogie. Boo boogie boogie. Boo boogie boogie. Man, this is gonna be a long effing mission. Lots of torches though, we need them. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Because we're gonna need it. Now it must be carried home. Well, we're probably gonna camp here and then do this battle. So we're probably gonna pop all four torches here so that we can have as, oh, lovely, as much In radiance, uh, surprise chance as possible. Oh, two drowned thralls, huh? Alrighty then. Let's chop them up. Dun, 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 dun. They're very slow, which is nice. Don't stun you, I need your ch shots. They have, a, they have a speed of zero. They have a speed of zero? It's like they're going too fast. They're moving too fast. What if you go all the way to the last room and find a key? I've already opened the secret room, so it doesn't actually matter. I can't use the key now. Which is part of the reason why I did it, honestly, because I didn't want to, the temptation of coming back. But there is a treasure room here, so if we find a key, we can open this treasure chest at least. I didn't really come here for money, 
but we did stack up quite a lot of it, so I'm very happy about that. I'm even thinking that maybe we should start like... You're bloodlusted. Maybe we should start just like continuously stacking up as much cash as possible. So I'm, I'm starting another pile. Camp there, go there, get loot, go to Shambler, try it out. I have high hopes, high hopes. 18 stress. We do not have the benefit of the hairpin though, which does suck from an accuracy perspective, but I can't use the last torch, I have to save it. I may have passed a sconce in the hallways that I am forgetting about, but you know what? Whatever, I'm still gonna hold on to it. Just don't accidentally press T, Abe. <laughs> if you do that, you're gonna have a bad time. Nine, you are still alive. The wounds of war Could've gone for a kill, but you know what? I don't care. Hidden. Okay, maybe we should've gone for the kill, or the stun rather, because now you're gonna live for another turn. You know what? I'll stun you. Lord Viper, hello. I just bought the Crimson DLC and I already have two characters infected. Yep. First mission, I got two characters infected. That's just the way it goes. <laughs> oh. This game hates your characters. Hates your party. Um, eh, heal. Any sort of stress heal would be nice. There's no, yeah, there's no uh, treasure in this room. I was gonna say maybe we could, like, douse the torch and camp here, but there's no real reason to. You just stress people out, all right. Well, this is the only thing we can do, so keep shooting. You do have lots of protection, though. It wore off, beautiful. Give it to me, I know you have, what, stop! With the hitting people. Oh, and you got a crit, so now I can't even do a heal, you idiot. Hey, a torch. <laughs> I hate these freaking people. They are the worst. We'll pop that torch. I should have just opened it for the loot, though. I'm, I'm a bit silly about that, now that I think about it. Don't, don't touch it. I want the blood from this fish caucus! No, you don't! Say corcus? <laughs> what happened? Oh, bloodlust went down. That's fine. I think if you give someone the blood, though, they do get a battle buff, so it might be worth doing that for the Hellion. Okay, we expected this. Hopefully, we don't starve, because I am gonna go down here and uh, I'll probably, you know, I could camp in the treasure room. If I camp in the treasure room, then we have the opportunity to maybe do a half camp if we need it. In case we just so happen to starve. Don't use the torch. Yeah, I was gonna say. Okay, so I'm glad I didn't camp in the previous room. So we'll have to do like a half camp, but that's fine. We'll just, um, we'll just have to uh, focus on stress healing with uh, party skills, I think. Camping skills, okay. As long as we don't get too stressed out, we'll be fine. I want the Abomination to have zero stress because he is the one who's gonna have to deal with the, uh, with the clappers. The good old clappers. I wish there was a way that I could improve his stress, but I don't think there is. Stress speed is what I meant to say. I don't think there's a way to improve his speed with what we have, because the light is gonna go to zero. I, I actually kinda wish, sometimes I wish this. I wish you could bring along trinkets that are 
not attached to a party member. Like, I could bring along a, a low-light trinket, and if I need it, just swap out to it or something. I don't really know how useful that would be, but it does sound useful sometimes. 75, 25, 40 heal. Abatement. Maybe it's like completely not useful at all, but it sounds like it could be. I hate these guys. <laughs> they both have 58% protection. Keep blighting them. Keep smacking them. Three damage, oh boy. Eradicated! And, <sighs> and I can't do anything about you, so we're gonna party heal. Because you have a lot of stun resist and 58% protection. Good dodge. Plus five dodge trinket. So we're not really losing too much dodge doing the Shambler, at least. We're almost ready to do it, though. <laughs> we'll buff as much as we can. We'll do it. We'll hope for the best. Ooh, doesn't the Abomination have something that improves his damage? Oh, I didn't get it. I should really get Psych up for this situation, because that bonus damage would, would really help on the fight. Seize the moment, push on to the paths, and I know what you, I know what you talk about. Okay, I can't take anything. That's fine, though. Let's go back. Let's do it. I have one torch, four holy water. Don't use the holy water on the Hellion. I'll try to give her uh, blood drugs during the fight. Okay, there's actually one more fight. With a madman? No. No, don't you dare. I gotta kill him. I gotta kill him, because he, he's gonna stress me out. <sighs> it's pretty good, though. That's not that much stress. Let's stun you. Why are you going back though? Abe wants to die. <laughs> we'll be fine. I'll retreat before anyone dies. They could die. They're not necessarily going to die, but they could die. Stun Resist is back up. I would like the Hellion to go. Oh, yes! Um, Because we might have to do a, a half camp. Oh, no, wait, we actually have enough food. We can do a full camp. Six damage, yeah. Brendan says, I have plot protection, I'm not worried. You should be. You should be. All right. Um, You know, you've already moved, so let me do this real quick. Stress 10. When we camp, your stress is gonna go down to zero. That's a good crit for stress. Although, I hate when it only gives three stress relief. It should give more than that, because a crit normally gives you like three stress relief on its own. Come on, game. Get your head together. All right, well, we're gonna say no to that loot. And there's another camp. All right, so unfortunately, we're gonna have to do a half camp and rely on skills, but we still wanna do it for the buffs, so let's do it. Circle half. The dark. The battle may yet be won. Then. Let's go ahead and prevent nighttime ambush. No, let's not do that. Let's go for accuracy and dodge on Well, you need the crossbow. Nine remaining. Three. Three. Three for the plus two speed. I want the speed for the abomination. 
I want the Abomination to have more accuracy. And then I'm gonna give him also, I don't wanna give him more stress. What can, what can we do for three? I could reduce the stress of somebody. You know, I could give him less stress. Let's do that. Okay, we did get surprised, but I'll, I'll handle one fight. This is also not really that bad of a fight. Not a great shuffle, but we can still at least hit the Acolyte with a couple of people. And we actually go first, which is nice, which means you're dead, beautiful. That speed up is helping. So we'll, we'll swap trinkets and then we'll go fight the Shambler. <laughs> All right. Back to. Oh, but the abomination can't function now. He's gonna have to move. But we can delay with the stun. Yeah. I'd like to be able to use him for an attack. Let's do some damage. You know what, egomania obsessed with self-worship affects. Yeah, I believe egomania means that you interact with uh, confession booths, and I think maybe you can also have a call out and like move or something, yeah, like during combat, but I don't remember. I do know that egomania and Hylomania, I think both of those make you interact with Confession Booths. Maybe e Egomania is not Confession Booth. What would it be though? I don't know. You interact with something. Okay, I have a bandage. The light, the promise uh, of safety. It's gonna use it and then we'll move on. I'm gonna need the inventory space anyways to maneuver trinkets. We're here, the mission is complete. We can leave whenever we want. <clears throat> Let us your speed is negative two. Let us, holy water, holy water, holy water. I want, this to be here. I want this to be here. Ah, hold on, gotta do it like this. There, so now you have accuracy, crit, Better damage, plus you have all those buffs on you. You are going to take the blood, which gives you a buff of dodge and speed for four rounds. You're gonna move, you're gonna move, you're gonna move. Actually, I want you to be in the front because you need to go into the back. And then why not do it? <clears throat> Hopefully we get a good shuffle. Ah, the Musketeer stayed at the front, but that's just one move. That's not that bad. 100% stun, 40 bleed, 30 protection. So five to nine or three to seven. 14% chance of a crit. I think I'd rather go for the crit. Not that good of a damage. Are we going to transform you? <clears throat> The stun chance is very low. The blight chance is also very low. You move back too? I, I think we transform. We know we need to. That's not transform, that's move. This is transform. Plus 14% damage, plus two speed. Lunge forward, then you can, you can swipe. Yeah, okay. We're gonna have to do a slam first, but we'll do it. Debuffed his speed and dodge. You know what? That actually does make the slam a little bit worthwhile. 10% chance of a stun. You know what? Oh my god. It didn't work. It crit, but it didn't work. <laughs> All right. All right. We still haven't moved the Musketeer. They're so slow. But we are real fast. Not fast enough that we can move, though. How quickly the Bad crit. Turns. 34 stress, good lord. Okay, we're still not fast enough. What is the speed of my abomination? I mean, it's 12, I guess he just rolled poorly. We do need to kill one of them. If 
five to 10, 30, 73% chance, I should say. Um, okay. Getting one down is nice because it means that it, he has less chance of doing a uh, Stentorious Lament. I think that's the one that shuffles. You can just, you can just keep healing. You do have an attack. Three to five. I think you need to mark. I think the, the bonus crit damage and damage will both make this um, worthwhile. So that's gonna be bleed. You know, this does kind of suck because now we can't rake the clapper claws in the back. Hmm, interesting. Good kill, though. He's got a lot of speed. He can handle the Clapper Claws sometimes. You kind of do need to toss out a heal. Eleven is okay. You... You should probably take the Holy Water. I don't like the fact that you're, you're constantly bleeding. Good crit for 21. That's kind of exactly what I was hoping for out of the mark. The crit damage is gonna help a lot. Advancement. So that's another bleed. Ears. Bleed sucks, but it's not really that much damage. Just a little bit of damage over time. The clapper claw on the back is getting really buffed. Hopeless. That's fine. There can be no hope in this hell. Says you. No hope at all. Uh, go for the bleed. That's a great crit. He's almost dead. Oh, that's an unfortunate clapper. He's almost dead. We just need to keep hitting a few times. Good crit. Unfortunately, we didn't kill the clapper claw. He's almost dead. You don't want the heal. Could be worse. Six damage. Okay, you're dead now. And we are shuffled. So we're gonna have, oh, that's not a bad shuffle. That is not a bad shuffle. We're gonna, we're gonna live, we're gonna win, and we're gonna get out of here. We're probably gonna have a transformation on our abomination. Fearful, all right. I hope that you live. You're gonna live, temporarily anyways, but you're still bleeding, which is bad. Come on, Spaceman. Paranoid. So he's gonna transform back. We can still use his abilities, though. Um, let's, let's stun the Clapper Claw or kill it. That's a great crit. We might be able to finish the fight before the Hellion dies. Wow, really? You're gonna give me that now? Yeah, I've, I've seen these before. <laughs> uh, bleed would be nice. Didn't get it. Good heal. I think we'll be fine. I, I keep saying that, but I, I keep hoping it, more like. Now, unfor weirdly enough, that's a bad time for that guy to die, because him dying meant that the Clapper Claw moved up. But luckily, they're targeting Toad, the Vestal. Sorry, Toad. Strike my back and you will find you have stabbed an angry demon! He's paranoid. He's full of demons. Good stun. I just I just need someone to hit this guy, please. Like, well, you can't do it, so you might as well heal. Oh, you don't want the heal? All right. I just need someone to hit this clapper claw, please. Panicked breathing, pass. Thank you, Musketeer, Connie. We're out of Ancestral Trinkets. At least until we like do this on Veteran. I don't know if you unlock different trin trinkets on Veteran, but we are out of trinkets, which is interesting. Um, so let us take all we can and leave. That was not worth it. The pungent odor abates. At all. <laughs> it's gonna cost us a lot for all this stress relief, but it was still fun to do. Unerring, damage on range skills. 
You have the worst abilities. Why do I need damage on you? I see something long absent in the sunken faces of passersby. A glimmer of hope. You tell yourself that. Investation is still low. There is a long cove mission. And you know what I say? Long cove mission to me? Reeks of antiquarian. Antiquarian cove. If we bring along an occultist, if we bring along maybe like the other abomination, they're only level two, but we know that they perform pretty well in the cove. And then what if we bring along maybe a, uh, a plague doctor? Well, we probably wouldn't want the abomination. A second position plague doctor is okay. In the front, maybe we would just want a Hellion for even more stunning is good, but what about a Shield Breaker? Stress v. Human, Stress v. Unholy. A Leper? Mm, human, Beast, Unholy, and no, we want Eldritch, I think. Diurnal Cove Phobe. Really don't want to bring a Cove Phobe, but again, we could do it. Skilled gambler. I really should be using you for gambling. Um, frontline bounty hunter could work. Lower stress. Better speed. Better move resistances. Could also use a highwayman. We haven't used highwayman highwaymen recently. And we do have one with an eldritch hater. Damage and stress v weld. Sorry, v eldritch plus weld abilities could be nice. Evasive, Natural, Nymphomania, Warren's Tactician, Unholy Slayer, Unquiet Mind, Resolution, Evasive with Dodge, or Crit Melee, Cove Phobe. Okay, so Viridi could go out. So it would be Antiquarian, focusing on dodging, Occultist, Healer plus Stunner plus, well maybe not Stunning, but Healer, Stabber, Local Stabber. Um, and then we have a Plague Doctor for like blighting and stunning. And then, wow, we would need some like actual damage. <laughs> now that I look at this, we would have no damage units. So maybe a Highwayman. The Riposte is very good. Zadarsky asks, is the first Farmstead mission easy? Can I go with any party? It's pretty easy. The first Farmstead mission, you won't have any problems if you just bring a squad that functions. So don't worry about it. I haven't done this one though. I've never done this mission against the Miller, but we'll do that at some point. Oh wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold the freaking phone. Do you see what I see? It's a freaking blasphemous vial by killing the alluring siren. We've got to do that. I've been I've been looking for this. I've been waiting for this to fall into my lap. I need this for my plague doctors. So this to me feels like the right call. We should go do a a cove boss fight. And if we're gonna do a cove boss fight, what would we want? It's tough to say because the cove missions can be very deadly. Redeem. Target heal 38% max HP. Yeah, if you got t taken over, that would be a very bad thing. Um, Cove could work. We would probably still want a good occultist for stabbing purposes. We would probably want... I don't think we would want a mark party because it's a a two action per turn boss. A mark party, the, the mark is gonna wear off very quickly. We could still do it. It would be like this and then plus damage or plus accuracy on range skills would be like for Dacula. So Cove Explorer, uh, Fairweather Fighter, Photomania, 
People can kind of function from any position. We could toss a mark out with the occultist, hit him with the grave robber, plus damage. Hit him with the bounty hunter, plus damage. Hit him with the marbleest, plus damage. And that could work pretty well. If any individual unit gets converted, we wouldn't really suffer too much, I don't think. Everyone has abilities that they could use against us. The worst being plus damage versus human, but that's even that's not that bad. Stunning does suck. It would be a weird combat. We would actually prefer to have plus damage v Eldritch trinkets. I don't think we have any. We haven't picked up that trinket. Yet. It's like rare or very rare. I think it's very rare. It's like the um, the, the uh, cross. So I think what we would want is minus stun skill chance plus damage. Do we want that on the bounty hunter? I don't know. Let's think about this for a minute. We we definitely want the map. We can give you the map. We can give you the, the lucky talisman. That's solved. Occultist has a healing item. We don't need him to do stunning in all likelihood. The bounty hunter could even do a stun with his punch if we if we really want. Um, the grave robber could open up with quick draw, or even just open up with a lunge, because the lunge would hit the back. The thing is, is that the dagger is just more accurate because we're we're rolling the uh, lucky talisman. We could roll them with uh, focus ring, but I love getting that plus twelve dodge. You. 35 health, 37 health. I'm gonna give you plus damage, lower health. I'm gonna give you, am I okay with lo low stun skills? I think I am. I think I am. I think I am. I am and I am what I am and I think what I am. Let's give you plus accuracy. Let's give, I could give you the speed so you can inflict the mark, but I'd rather put the plus damage on someone else. I might even give you, straight up, more healing skills. Is that a Vestal? Where is this? Oh, it's a... Ah, there it is. Diary. Vestal only. Right. Okay, so let's give you more heals. So you're just going to be a healer marker. You're going to be candle. You're going to be damage and accuracy. You're going to be traps. Dodge, accuracy. What does the bounty hunter bounty hunter take? You know, what if we just stack up dodge cloaks? If we uh, if we can't get hit by that attack from the siren, we'll not get taken over in theory. Kind of like it. Your your damage is going to be from. Camping, because we're going to give you plus damage versus size 2. And from marking. Is Absinthe for Grave Robber any good? Resists, Blight skill chance. Yeah, that seems pretty good. If, if you're roll, rolling um, Poison Darts, it's the only thing that applies Blight on the Grave Robber. I haven't seen Absinthe in a while, though. Oh, isn't that a Crimson Court Trinket? I think that's a Crimson Court Trinket. Um, but I kind of like this for our boss fight. Dodge, damage, and speed. Dodge and accuracy, healing. And if you get taken over, I don't really care because you just do more damage via Eldritch and we're not Eldritch. And if you mark us, it doesn't really matter. You just have raw damage. The Arbalest getting taken over would really suck, but you also ignore stealth, which might be kind of nice in this location. You also have even more damage because of Risk Taker. So you could output a ton of damage against us, but there's another positive to bringing a mark party, which is that you're not going to be marked, and if your characters are not marked, they're probably not going to take that bonus damage. So even if the Arbalest does hit one of our units with a shot, they're probably not going to kill us. And a lot of their other abilities are trash, like Bola, Sniper's Mark, Suppressing Fire, Blind Fire, Bandage, Rallying Flare, who cares if those, sh those abilities get used by the Siren's side. So, with 17 grand, let's do a little bit of finalization here. I think... I think I like these abilities. 
everything can function from this slot. Could use flashing daggers, but I'm gonna choose to ignore it right now. You're already set. Wait a minute. Every creature has there we go. <laughs> Crap. Well, now we gotta spend more money, I guess. So, uh, we'll spend more money. We'll make things more accurate, definitely. We'll upgrade the core abilities. What are you going to do from the third position? I could put you in the second position and let you stun. Marking and stunning might be okay. So it would be like, stab. Heal. Mark. Stun. We could give you the cauldron instead then. It would be, uh, be this, which wouldn't be that bad. Stab, mark, stun. I kind of want to upgrade those abilities if we're going to use them. Grave robber is set. You. This. A uh, backup heal is very nice. A mark could be nice if you move before the... Uh, <sighs> before the cultist, but... Sniper fire might be a little bit better. If, if an enemy gets taken over, we could also just take a turn to sniper fire them so that they can't hit us with a, a high-powered shot. But, you know... Rallying Flare could also be a nice little stall for clearing mark, clearing stun, and lowering stress. I've never used that ability for lowering stress. Maybe we'll give it a shot. So it'll be like one, two, three, three, four. You know, I'll even upgrade your bolus. Very quickly running out of money. Man, we have like no money. <laughs> uh, can't upgrade this. Should have upgraded this. Can't upgrade this anymore. Six grand is enough to do a boss fight, so I, I think I'm okay with that. And you know, we have another Heaven's Hairpin. We'll sell that. Gives us enough money in order to do some town stress relief, which we, we really do need to do. We'll put the Abomination in, unless he has any preferences. No, nope, that's fine. And uh, Gulag Rubito as well. Because I know someone had, like, better gambling. Was it Finch? Someone had better gambling. Was it Quark? Skilled gambling. I should have put her in for gambling. You also need stress relief. <laughs> Lonely prey. Oh my lord. Okay, three grand. Is that enough to do a boss fight? Probably not. Let's get rid of a debuff amulet. We'll probably get another one in the future. 5,000 is enough. So we'll do a, 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 a boss fight mission, I guess. I think that'll work. I think that'll be okay. For those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch for when I go live. Support me on Twitch, Patreon, and Streamlabs. And I hope to see you here again for the next mission in the Darkest Dungeon.